Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because we are joined by Will, of course, and another Alec, which is so exciting. It how is. are you, Alec? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. You're here from Matter Hackers. You guys sell 3D printers and mm -hmm. 3D printing supplies, and you're here to help teach us how to do some 3D printing so that we could 3D print a vice. Mm -hmm. We poured it yesterday. We did, and? looks pretty good. It did. It looked pretty good. So on today's episode, we're going to be finishing off this mini bronze vice. It's a pleasure to have you here. Let's jump in. Before we jump into the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Audible, the audio book listening platform that I absolutely love. I've read a bunch of books with Audible. I highly recommend it. And I would love for you to go to audible.com forward slash forge at the end of this video to get yourself a 30 day free trial, one free audio book and two free Audible originals. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring the video. Let's jump right in. Well guys, we've made some awesome progress on the vice, but it's time to hand things off to Alec to fix all of the mistakes I made. <laughs> Looking amazing! Great job, guys. This vice is looking insane. I can't believe it. You go from you go from a model on a computer, you go to to, to a little bit of plastic, a mm -hmm. little bit of wax in no time. I love this. I love this. Some crazy technology. Oh yeah. I really, really want to put 3D printing to some more use in the future. I just I'm thinking of all the creative ways that it can speed up processes mm -hmm. and allow us to make things that we just wouldn't be able to make. Otherwise, my head is still uh, still spinning a little bit after that injury. Will has passed this off to me, and so I want me to do some work on it. We're gonna take this apart, and uh, we're gonna make note of the fact that the thread is super tight. Yeah. So there is a trouble with the thread. The thread has a few irregularities, which is probably what's causing it to be tight, but we have an option for loosening the fit of the thread. So here's what we're gonna do. It's in the vise. I'm gonna grab the same die that we threaded it with. This is a split die, so it has an opening here, and it has a chamfer on that opening and a hole to either side of that opening. That means that we can either spread the die open or close the die up to adjust the size of the thread and make it a deeper cut or a less deep cut. And that can all be helpful to get the fit you're after with your threaded parts. So this goes inside our die holder. You see our split with the chamfer lines up with the center screw and the two holes line up with either side. So. I want to make this a looser thread. I'm going to achieve that not by cinching it down from the middle, but by cinching it down from the sides. Instead of opening it up, it's going to tighten it down. And there we go. We're just going to run it through. See if that uh, loosened it up any. Ooh, I'd say it's a little looser. I'd say it's a little looser. It's still a little, little clunky in there. Since that thread is kind of going a little bit like this, um, down the piece there's a tight spot, and then there's a loose spot, and a tight spot, and a loose spot. So maybe by tightening down the die and making this thread even, even smaller, it's gonna be loose the whole time. Close. 
It feels like it might be better. If it was a shorter thread, if it was a shorter female section in there, it'd probably be better. Because the yeah. trouble is, is the thread is bent, which means that, you know, since we have like a, an inch, inch long nut, essentially, that bent thread is then binding. Yeah. This is the best part of vices. That's the only reason I like metal working, you know, spinning things. I mean, that's everything. That's a joke. I like metal working more than spinning things. I like metal working for this. It's a very satisfying noise. So that spinning thing. Yeah. Together, independently, at different times, we both came up with what we think is a good solution. We have all those threads, you know, it's like an inch and a quarter of threads, maybe even. We're just gonna get rid of half of them. It makes so much sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna drill them out, and then hopefully that bent thread is gonna be less of a worry. Oh yes, that's much better. So I put it on and it's now way tighter. The slide itself is binding, so we're gonna enlarge the hole in the slide before we make ourselves up a little retention washer that's gonna sit right in here to allow us to both push the slide in and pull it out. Still too tight. Oh, much better. I think we got it. Yeah. So now it's on to the retention washer. Now completely ready for assembly, aside from the fact that we still got some ugly spots. We have some little bubbles here, we got some funky stuff going on here, and overall we need to give the finish on this a little bit of an upgrade. So I'm gonna head to some files, clean off the side of this slide on both sides, and then probably also give it a sand as well. That is a fully functioning vice. This thing is actually gonna be useful. Shall we hold something in it? Check out this munching power. Wow, it is munching it. Whoa! Golly. Look at the clamping forces. Press tube, watch out. I think you have competition. That is doing very well there, I say. Absolutely demolished. That's awesome. We should file something with it. We have made a functional vice 
from 3D printed parts. Look at that. That is so exciting. What an amazing technology. What fun that is. We have also more awesome news. Be sure to go check me out on Instagram as well as Matter Hackers. You can find more about this. But Matter Hackers is going to be giving away a pulse just like this. You can get your hands on one of these bad boys. Go check out our Instagrams to find out more about that. You know, also look in the link in the description. You know, building the vice was cool and all, but mm -hmm. it's actually been kind of a little bit of a nightmare having two Alex. Yeah. in the workshop. So we thought we should show you some behind the scenes of some of the more confusing moments here in the workshop. Hey, Alec? Yeah? Yeah? Hey, uh, Alec? Yeah? Yeah? So, Alec. Yeah. One second, Will! Hello, you got Alec. How can I help? Sorry, hang on a second. Yeah. Hey, Alec. What now? This vice looks so cool. 3D printed vice. I cut. Alec, what are you doing? Dog, I'm mad at this Alec cat, man. I come in for an internship. He's all like red toolbox, white toolbox, blue toolbox. Get the pliers in the red one. Get the files in the white. Man, it's it's just. He didn't even give me the internship, dog. You know, I got both of with this guy. No visitors. Doesn't apply to me. Hey, man, get back! Hey, Alec! It's just been a huge struggle. You almost got killed by Scott. Yeah. So then there's the whole thing with the forage. I thought you meant me. Ah, Lick. Miscommunication, eh? Miscommunication. Yes. Anyway, a uh, good way not to miscommunicate is by listening to audiobooks. So thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Today's sponsor has been Audible. It's the audiobook listening platform that I absolutely love. It allows me to listen to phenomenal stories and learn incredible information while it is that I'm commuting to and from work, while it is that I'm exercising, or while it is that I'm doing a task in the workshop that suits listening to something well. The book that I'd like to recommend today is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, and I highly recommend it. I'm about halfway through. I'm loving it. It is about his life story from going through a hugely tragic and difficult childhood through to conquering himself and becoming a Navy SEAL and going on to pursue extreme acts of endurance. I'm talking 100 mile races galore. It is crazy, hugely educational, a very mindset based audiobook. I think you're going to love it. And so please go to audible.com forward slash forge to get yourself a free 30 day trial of Audible. That trial includes a free audiobook as well as two free Audible Originals. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for being here. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.